my video blog in my studio. I'm Gail Weisfield, a professional watercolor artist. Other tools that you're going to need in your, um, your palette box is you need an eraser. The only eraser I use is the kneaded blue eraser. This eraser doesn't damage the fiber on your paper when you erase with it. It lifts up all the debris and it leaves a clean surface where you don't have the little particles, eraser particles, trapped in your paint. Also, you can erase through the paint and oftentimes lift the, the graphite from the paper uh, even as you, after you've painted the painting. This is another fun tool I enjoy. It's a Mr. Clean eraser and it's a great tool for lifting uh, pigment after it's dry. Everyone should always have a sp sprayer, different size sprayers. I use a sprayer for keeping my paper moist. I use it to add texture. I use it to soften spattering. The sprayer is a very handy tool and you should always have that. Then you can carry table salt, instant coffee, lots of other fun things on that line. A pair of scissors is helpful uh, and a roll of masking tape. So when you arrive to class, my suggestion is bring everything. You never want to be the person who is always borrowing or is held up because they don't have the things that they need. Well, when I go on a workshop, this is some of the tools that I find convenient to take and I think that uh, the better prepared you are, the better time you have. So I generally always find a nice carrying case and I love this carrying case. It's got all these pockets and you can see inside there's pockets inside. It'll collapse and fold down to a smaller size if you want to store it away where it doesn't take any room, has a shoulder strap. You can uh, keep all the things you're going to need, a hair dryer, masking tape, uh, sponges, all the pockets just are, are the best. Pencils. Also a very handy thing to bring with you in a, to a watercolor workshop is a hair dryer because we're always working quickly so we can speed dry an area and it's also important to keep uh, your paper even consistency so a hair dryer is a must for all watercolor artists. Also to have a nice uh, portable container for your water is very important and sometimes it's helpful to have two. Plastic containers are more useful because obviously they don't break. So when you come to a workshop uh, a few items that are really nice to have is an apron with lots of pockets so you don't lose your brushes and you can find things. Uh, a, a nice sun hat to keep the sun out of your eyes and sunglasses. You bring of course your basic uh, pigments, paper, and a, uh, a selection of brushes and a stretcher board. I find um, it's very helpful to bring some matches to open those uh, tough tubes of paint and my Mr. Clean eraser, my salt, my sprayer, and of course uh, a good sketchbook is very important and it's also important for you to bring a roll of paper towels because not everywhere has paper towels. You're going to need something to dry your brushes and work with and a um, little masking tape and, and then of course the evening's entertainment.